Hi everyone, I'm Chris. And I'm Clay. And you're watching The Chris and Clay Vlog. Ding, 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 ding. We're gonna do a really fun thing today where we share 10 facts that you don't know about us. Or maybe we don't even know about each other. I'm excited to yeah. see if there's any of those. Yeah, we didn't share the list with each other. So hopefully I know all the things about you that you wrote down. You're not hiding anything from me. Also, the merch you're seeing us wear right now is only available through April 1st, so please go to the description box below this video and order some Chris and Clay merch. We just want to make this world a better place. Yes, we do. Why would these shirts make this world a better place, Clay? Well, they're cute AF. And also, a portion of the proceeds are going towards the Trevor Project. Which is an awesome organization that supports LGBTQIA youth. So we are really excited to support them. And you can support them as well by purchasing Chris and Clay's shirt. And what would we do if they tag us in a photo, Clay? We'll repost it on our social media. Our social media. Our. Our. And we'll include it on the vlog. So take a picture of you and your Chris and Clay merch, and we'll share it on the vlog. All right, you know this one. Sorry. Yeah. Fact number one. Don't be sorry that I know it. I'm glad I know it, because I should know a lot about you. Mm -hmm. I was homeschooled. My mom home educated me from first grade, actually kindergarten, through uh, my senior year of high school. So I was homeschooled, and I'm a homeschool freak, as you always call me. She's just like Katie Heron. I know what you're thinking. Homeschooled kids are freaks. X-Y-L-O-C-A-R-P. Xylocarp. Okay, what's your first thing, Clay? My first thing, you know about me, but I have a scar across my stomach, and if you've seen pictures of us on Instagram, where we're shirtless, you know that I have a scar, but a lot of people don't know what my scar is from, and I'll tell you now. My intestines were twisted when I was very, very little, and they had to cut me open and untwist them, and they did it twice, so that's why I have a really big scar on my stomach. People always ask you on your stories and stuff, on yeah. your post, they're like, What's the scar from? And now you know. Now you know, because that's my super short show. And now you know, because it's my super short show. Oh my gosh, I remember that. All right, my fact number two is I don't eat seafood. You knew that one too. I knew that. Yeah. I don't eat seafood either, but that's not one of mine. <laughs> Every time we get invited out for seafood or people are like, we should go try this amazing seafood restaurant. Let's go get sushi. No, thanks. Do they serve teriyaki chicken? Then sure, I'll be there. Do they serve chicken tenders? Fair question. My fact number two is that I was a competitive gymnast. I started doing gymnastics when I was like two years old, as much gymnastics as you can do at two years old, but that's when I started and I wanted to be in the Olympics. I didn't quite get there, but I wanted to be in the you could have got there if you really, really worked for it and like didn't switch career paths to musical theater. I mean, I stopped doing gymnastics when I went on tour and then I like tried to get back into it, but I had taken a year off and I was like, I... He was touring as a child. He didn't quit gymnastics as an adult. He yep. toured with the national tour of Oliver when he was younger. Oliver! Random Oliver. fun fact. Oliver. Stop! What you're doing right now? Click the subscribe button. We have new videos every Tuesday. And every Friday. And some awesome videos on the way in the upcoming months and weeks and days we yeah. can't tell you about yet. But click the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you don't miss a single one. Okay, you also know this one, so these have not been exciting for you yet. But, but I don't- They're exciting for y'all, maybe? Yeah. I don't drink coffee. I've never ordered a coffee. I've sipped a coffee like once or twice. Twice that I remember, but I don't drink coffee. So think about the money that we have saved on not drinking Starbucks. Well done. Go us. My fact number three, I was a mathlete. <laughs> the limit does not exist. 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 Do you miss it? Do you miss doing math? I honestly do. You thought I was a freak from being homeschooled? You are a freak. Math and I do not get along, but we get along. We two plus two equals 17 and a half, so. How good he is at it. He's not wrong. Fact number four for me is I am allergic to everything. I'm allergic to cats, dogs, <laughs> both the saliva and like the hair. I'm allergic to a lot of nature. Peanuts, uh, cinnamon, fun, happiness, like seasonal allergies are through the roof. Ugh, I'm allergic to so many things. So I have to like always check the ingredients to see if there's cinnamon or if there's peanuts. So I'm allergic to most things. It feels like it anyway. My fourth fact is I don't like chocolate. I don't like plain chocolate. Let's get more specific. I don't like like a Hershey bar. I like Reese's or a Twix or Fast Break is like my favorite candy bar for sure. But I don't like chocolate. So when I would make s'mores as a kid or even now, I will do it with a Kit Kat bar or a Reese's rather than a Hershey bar. But you can't kiss me after you have the Reese's because I'm allergic. Can 
nickel about him. Always nickel about me. My fifth fact, real shocker for all of you, I am obsessed with Disney. I'm just kidding, that's not it. Because all of you know that, because I talk about Disney all the time. Cool fact, Chris. <laughs> no, my fifth number, fifth number fact? <laughs> my fifth fact is that as a kid, I was obsessed with superheroes. Like, obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. I don't care if it was DC or Marvel, I loved everything. I had a Superman-themed birthday party more times than I can count. I remember my mom like, making a Superman shape with icing on my cake. Aww. I wanted a Superman costume and action figures. I wanted an action figure so bad that I told everyone that I invited to my birthday party that's what I wanted, and they had so many of them, and I loved them. I played with all of them. I was obsessed with Superman. And then what happened when you went to Burger King and tried to get the cardboard cutout of Superman? They threw it away and I cried. I love superheroes. Batman, oh my gosh, all of them. I love them so much. Superman, I love him. That was my line in West Side Story. Aww. My fifth fact is that I used to hate roller coasters. How? Did you know that? I did. Oh. But how is that possible knowing you now? I don't get it. I don't know. I like never went on them. Whenever we went to amusement parks as a kid, I just wouldn't ride them. I would stand there and watch and I was just a boring like little kid just watching people go on roller coasters even till I was like, I'm gonna say 13 maybe. That's so crazy, because knowing him now, he's like, let's go, let's go! Yeah, L-E-T-S-G-O. My next fact is, oh, also sorry that oh, this got quiet. I was gonna apologize that the dishwasher's going, but we, we have a dishwasher, dishes. which is, yeah, we need clean dishes, and we have a dishwasher in this apartment. Thank God. So um, that was a mixture of raising the roof and thank you God. I like it. My next fact is that I tried playing sports one time when I was a kid. It was t-ball and I never played a game because every single game got rained out or canceled. That's the end of my sports career. <laughs> I was like, all this practice for no shows? I'm out! For no shows? Yeah, yeah I would refer to it as a kid. Homosexual. I played soccer. Yeah. That's not one of your facts. Give us some facts. Okay. My sixth fact is that I want to go skydiving. Chris won't let me. No. But. I want to. No. Why? It looks so fun. It's every video I see of somebody jumping out of an airplane. But you can stay on the earth and be my husband versus jumping out of a plane. Do you hate me that bad? You're like, let me jump out of a plane. <laughs> Just in case. Ugh. You'll never go skydiving because I love you too much. I might do it behind his back. If you were on tour or something and you called me to say that you went skydiving, I would be so pissed. I'm glad that you were safe. Even alive. after I did it? Probably that you didn't tell me, yeah. Uh -huh. Maybe uh -huh. irrational, uh -huh. but I, I am related to a movie star. Movie star is not alive anymore. Me. <laughs> what movies have you been in? I'm related very distantly to the movie star Roy Rogers. He was in a lot of old Western films. Isn't that candy bar? No. Is it Roy Rogers? Okay, see the candy bar? Babe Ruth? No. <laughs> No. He was in old western movies with like the cowboy hat and like the guns and the spin around and all that. That's what you do in western films. <laughs> this town ain't big enough for the two of us is probably something he said a lot. How are you related to him? My grandma Margie, her sister, was married to him I think. But they got divorced so like we're not really related and it's not blood related but Maybe we were still related at one point. Does that count? That counts. I have a connection to the movie star Roy Rogers. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Number seven for me, I have never owned a car. I didn't know that one. Yeah. In high school, I just would borrow my mom's car, my dad's car if I ever needed it. And at first I was like, I don't even need to get my license because I'm gonna move to New York and I'm gonna take the subway. But then I was like, oh, I, would, I need to drive in upstate New York. So I would drive and I like driving, but I've never owned a car. Huh. I knew that you borrowed your parents' car for a little bit, but I didn't realize that it was forever. Not forever, but until you- Forever! Until you, like, went on your own and became an adult. That's interesting. On my own, on my own. Every time I hear the song, I'm walking on sunshine, I think about my near-death experience. Oh, I thought you were gonna say, um... I gotta, yeah. I gotta a different song. I gotta oh, pocket. it totally is, from Easy A when she opens the card. I gotta pack it, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta pack it. Hey, a near-death experience. Yeah. I'm, I've heard this story, but I don't well, remember. Yeah, so I was in high school. I was driving somewhere early in the morning. I think it was like around 7, 7.30 in the morning. Not important. I'm driving, and I had a song playing. I'm like singing along, 
and the semi puts on his blinker, and I was like, oh, well, I'll speed up. I'm clear. I was next to him already. He sees me. Nope. Started merging, and I was in the lane and was going to get smashed. So I had to swerve off the highway, and I was, thankfully there was no median, and I went into like the middle area, and I'm like, going 70 miles an hour, slamming on my brakes, and like, in the middle ground. What do you call it? The middle ground. What's it called? Not the median. You like, the middle grass area on the highway, you know? And the song was blasting and a semi ran me off the road. I'm walking on sunshine. So every time I hear that song, I think about the time I got run off the road by a semi truck and thought I was gonna die. That's terrifying. Yeah. Drive safe, use your blinker, and check your blind spots. Especially if you drive a semi. No, just period. You do that. Drive safely. Number eight for me, I used to collect these Disney coins. I don't know if you knew that, did you? Continue. They were like for every movie and they were a collector's item. And every time I like opened a show or did something good, my parents bought me one. And so I used to collect them. That's really cool, I didn't know that. I wonder if they still have that. Actually, your mom probably saved them. Probably. She's very thoughtful. <laughs> That's what makes her so nice. Bling. Number nine. That's Hamilton. <laughs> huh, huh. Do I remember this show? Nope, sure don't. Number nine is when the first Toy Story movie came out. I mean, I was a really, really little kid. I collected all of the toys. I had like the original, like life, life size action figure. Not like the little tiny ones, but like the regular toys. Buzz, Woody, the T-Rex. I had everyone, including Slinky Dog and the aliens. Except for Bo Peep. And Jesse? No, because Jesse wasn't in Toy Story original. Ooh. Ham. I never got ham. And I saved them all, so obviously I'm gonna keep them and give them to our kids, or if they're worth a lot of money, sell them and then pay for our kids' education. <laughs> Every time my friends came over, they thought I was just the coolest kid ever. I mean, I was not, but I did have the Toy Story toys, which helped. Number nine is a little stagey for me, but I had a final callback to play young Tarzan in Tarzan on Broadway. When you were a kid. When I was a kid. That's all. I, that's just tell a fact everyone. that I was like, most people probably don't know that. Well, tell everyone what a final callback is in case they don't know. So it's just like the last audition. So I made it through multiple rounds of auditions and I was in the room with a lot of the team and we had to... The like, team meaning the people behind the show, like the director, the choreographer, yeah. all those types of people, the producers. And I had to sing the... What song did we sing? I don't remember, but like... Some tell me when I I went on when I did dance. Yeah, I had to sing that one, I had to dance, and I had to tumble, and I had to like crawl on my hands and feet. It was fun. But yeah, it's something you probably didn't know. I'm not gonna tell you how old I was actor. when I saw Tarzan on Broadway, so... I'm not that much older than you, but that freaks me out that I like saw that as an adult. Not an adult. I saw that as not a child, and you were a child. Were you over 18? I don't... I'm not sure. My little Tarzan, my little almost Tarzan. No, oh, the same. didn't book it. That's okay, you booked some other things in your life, you're doing all right. My 10th fact is that I went all of 2004 without candy or soda. I remember someone saying, you love sugar so much, you're addicted. I was like, I'm not addicted, watch this. I don't think I ever told that person that I went a full year without candy and soda, <laughs> but I did it to prove it to myself. And at midnight, when it hit the next year, I had my favorite candy picked out and my favorite drink. I guess it would be like a drink like this, a drink like this. And I loved the candy, and the soda tasted like acid, and I hated it. Now the only soda I drink is ginger ale, and it's usually with some whiskey. But um, candy and I, ooh, that was the longest we've ever been apart. Now I don't make it 24 hours without candy. He doesn't. That you're addicted to. I'm addicted to candy. So send me any candy you want. <laughs> Speaking of, we got this awesome gift from Australia. And I'm so excited. I've always wanted to try Tim Tams and- uh, Had you never? Never had. Huh? Yeah, they're delicious. As you can see, I've already started eating them. So uh, this video is brought to you by Tim Tam. All the Tim Tam says. Singular. Uh, by Tim Tim. <laughs> so thank you, Paul, for the snack. I love them. Thanks for sending them our way. And even though Clay doesn't love chocolate, 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 you should try one of these because they are okay. pretty chocolatey, but they're delicious. They look pretty chocolatey. They're so made think... with irresistible real chocolate, it says. So if you're irresistible, you have to try one. My last fact is that I've never broken a bone. Knock on some wood. I know, right? I don't even know if this is real wood. Knock on everything. That's awesome. Yeah. I've broken 90,000. <laughs> How many bones have you broken? You broke your elbow, you broke your wrist. Elbow, wrist, foot, 
ankle, toe. Is that it? Five? I've had so many injuries. <laughs> Only five bones, that's great. And none for you. And none for Gretchen Wieners, bye. And none for Gretchen Wieners, bye. So many Mean Girls references today. What's in the water? Well, maybe your pink shirt. I don't oh, know. so on Wednesdays, we on wear Wednesdays, pink. we wear pink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My name is <laughs> You can wear this t-shirt if you purchase before April 1st. You should order you should. it now. And we, we should stop ship and international. Not we ship international. You can look so cute in it. You can buy this shirt and support the Trevor Project. Okay, that's it. That's it. Unboxing time. All right, these are from Sherry. <sighs> Oh my goodness. Go. Yes. I know what this is. Oh, it's for our vision boards. Yes, we asked for these awesome gold frames to put our vision boards on in the middle to hang in our bedroom. Oh, yay. And these are from Sherry. So thank you so much, Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. And a little while ago, Teresa got us some gold pins yes. to put the stuff on our vision board, so. And they were gold, so it'll match the frame. Yeah. So thank you, Teresa. And thank you, Sherry. Sherry also got us our clothing hamper for the bedroom. Oh and gosh. I would show it to you now, but our laundry is already in it. We couldn't wait. We put it to use the second we opened it up. We were like, <laughs> open it. Oh, yep, put the laundry in. So thank you, Sherry, for allowing uh, us to have a place to put our dirty laundry. That's nice and cute and clean, as well as these awesome frames that are gonna go in our bedroom. We're, I'm so excited. We opened these two books on our live vlog and we didn't know who they were from, but Andy Chang let us know that he sent them to us. Thanks, Andy. So thank you, Andy. And if you haven't watched the live vlog, it's like an hour long, we did it last week. Super fun. We got to interact with all of you live answering questions as well as some sassy comments from this one and some unedited footage. So uh, definitely check that out if you can. I have an 11th fact for all of you. What is it? I love my husband a lot. Love that. What's your 11th fact, Clay? What's your bonus flat? Flack? What's Thanks your... for watching. <laughs> What's your bonus fact, Clay? He looks around the room mm, for like a... Um... That I love myself. Great. Self-love is important. It is important. It's so cool. Um, I love you. I love you too. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm Chris. And I'm Clay. Go make this world a better place and we'll see you real soon. Bye.